In life, there is a defining moment that changes everything. The moment when it hits you that you have to take responsibility for your life and personal finances or end up broke. For Tommy Balogun, that moment was in October 2013, right before embarking on an MBA program. It was a make or break moment. Yes, it was a make and break moment for me because I was enrolled to do my two year full time MBA program and it just hit me that I wasn't going to be earning a salary for the next two years. And then you start to ask questions like, my goodness, I've been working for four plus years. Where did all the money go? All of the income that I'd been earning for four plus years, where did all the money go? And I was like, oh my God, it's time to get better with my personal finances at the time. You know, so that was when I started to think about how can I get better with my personal finances? How can I save better? How can I invest? Because I knew that I can't, couldn't just stop at saving. I would also have to figure out and learn how to invest. And then I went on the full-time MBA program, which was quite intensive. It was two years of reading case studies. But I knew that immediately I got a job, things would have to be different. So thankfully, about the final semester, I was just talking about it with some of my friends and the idea just kind of took off like, yes, 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 let's form a group. And you know, let's all work together and ensure that we're holding ourselves accountable to save, first job, first salary, let's start saving. And that was how we started. And at that time, I had started to blog. Blogging was, you know, kind of cool. So I had my personal blog, www.tomibalogun.com. And I honestly used to blog about random things. It wasn't anything specific. I would blog about my day at work. I would blog about my boss. It was just very random. And one day I was trying to figure out what to blog about. And I thought, you know what? Let me blog about my investment club and let me just see if anybody will be interested. And I blogged about it and oh my goodness, the feedback was unexpected. I got so many emails, so many messages. What is an investment club? How are you doing that with your friends? I'd love to do it. I need to start saving more. I need to get better with my personal finances. Or oh, I also want to learn how to invest. How are you guys investing? What are you investing in? There's so many questions. The idea started to you know, form in my mind that why don't you start a community? It would be like a non-financial um, accountability group. And all you have to do is just share all of the knowledge and information that you are getting on the process as well. And I thought, okay, let me see. You know, so at that time, I happened to have some conversations with a mentor of mine. And he, you know, there's a quote he said that stuck with me. Anything you do, right, that earns you money is business. Anything your money does that earns you money is called an investment. I remember I sat down and I said, you know what, that's the quote that's going to form the frame of reference for the email I'm going to send out, asking people to join my community. So I sat down and I started to you know, type out the email and I sent it out. And I said, you know, I, I said the quotes and I started to mention a lot of things about how you needed to think about investing, savings was not enough, think long term. And I was starting this community. If you're ready to join, this is the fee because I wasn't going to do it for free. And I sent the email. I literally sent out that email with a prayer. And TikTok, TikTok, 35 people signed up. And that's how the journey to the Green Investment Club started. 2017 can best be described as a tough year for Nigerians. Tough because the year before, the country slipped into recession caused by low oil prices and crisis in the oil rich Delta region. In 2017, the Nigerian economy recovered from its first recession in over a decade. With low oil prices came scarce foreign exchange, high inflation, declining GDP and rising unemployment. The stock market closed the year with a negative 17.81% in 2018. This was no surprise as a negative performance in the stock market is one of the features on a pre-election year. While the central bank introduced initiatives to ease the pressure on external reserves, the effect of the policies only widened the disparity in exchange rates in different segments of the foreign exchange market and heightened inflation. Against this economic backdrop, the Green Investment Club was created. Hello and welcome to the Green Investment Club. The Green Investment Club started as a three-month membership program focused on investment education, taking on over 100 new members in mid-2018. Joining the Green Investment Club was, in many ways, 
opportunity meeting preparation. The personal financial landscape wasn't there wasn't so much happening there. You, I was I was reading blogs outside Nigeria, American blogs to understand personal finance. But I've been here since 2018. And in that time, I can't count how many people have become more financially aware because of this club. As we continue to grow as a club and, you know, evolve in so many ways, what was interesting was we started to attract members from outside the country. Initially, we started with mostly Nigerians residents in Nigeria. But what we started to see was a lot of emails and interest from Nigerians in diaspora. I mean, there are a lot of ways for diaspora, for those of us in diaspora to connect. Um, there's the uh, there are the webinars, there the, there's the course. Mm -hmm. I'm one of those. I'm one of the subscribers that you know that do not. I don't skim through the newsletters. I think from the time I joined till now, TGIC has also invested a lot in itself in expanding and growing. So from investment opportunities in Nigeria, they've been able to expand this to short touch investments in various parts of the world within Africa, within Europe, uh, the Americas and the likes.